Good evening, I'm Samantha T. And I'm Jeff Smith. Thanks for joining us. The local hospitals continue struggling with a high number of COVID-19 patients filling up beds. Both Franciscan and IU Health let me get a look at their crowded intensive care units. Despite the struggle, frontline workers are doing all they can to help the sickest of patients. Never seen it like this before. We are very tired physically, mentally, emotionally. IU Health Ornette and Franciscan Health Lafayette intensive care unit staff are suffering. It's one step forward, two steps back. They think that they're going to be okay and then they take a turn for the worse. COVID-19 patients are contributing to a lack of beds. It's very sad and it's, it's tiresome on us. Uh, we want to do everything we can to keep them here and if there's no bed, there's no bed. As of Monday, Franciscan had all 17 of its ICU beds full. 13 were COVID patients, five were on ventilators. The majority are not vaccinated. There was hope when the vaccine was rolled out a year ago. However, that's not the case. Recently, IU Health Ornette had five COVID patients die in one day. We had a feeling that maybe it wasn't going to be like this anymore. We could go back to normalcy, um, but unfortunately, that's just not the case. 24 out of the 28 IU Health Ornette ICU beds are full. 16 are COVID patients, nine are on ventilators. It's just really sad that it's come to this. I mean, for two years we've been dealing with this and it's not, hasn't gone anywhere. In fact, it's gotten worse. Both hospitals are seeing an increase of cases and one thing is becoming more and more common. They say vaccinated patients are not as affected by COVID-19. I think the science is out there now. We know that it keeps people out of this setting. You can still get it, but at least you don't end up in the ICU and you have less of a chance of dying from this illness. IU staff at both hospitals recommend anyone feeling sick to avoid attending holiday gatherings. They also say getting vaccinated is the best way to avoid a stay in the ICU.